Okay, uh, good afternoon. Ngayon ay January 14, day 14 na aking uh, journey sa pag-aaral ng C++ tutorial. Okay, so tara, start na tayo. So, kahapon matapos ako sa sa multidimensional arrays sa battleship. Ayan, ito, ito. Ngayon, Uh, ito, ito sa structures ito, bulay ko lang kanina ito, structures medyo ano na ito, hindi na ito basic <laughs> well, try pa natin i-aaralin ito uh, titignan ko kung ma-explain ko ba siya na maayos okay, C++ structures structures also called structs yung struct daw <coughs> are a way to group several related variables into one place several related variables into one place each variable in the structure is known as a member of the structure Unlike an array, a structure can contain many different data types in string bool type. Yun. <clears throat> Sa array, di ba, kailangan same data type. Like, dapat um, same sila na int, same boolean, same string. Uh, yun yung sa array. Ngayon, dito sa struct daw, pwede mo na ipagsama-sama yung int, string, bool. Yun. Uh, sa data type. Sa data mo na yun. Okay. Ayan ito, create a structure. To create a structure, use struct <coughs> Ayan. keyword and declare each of its members inside curly braces. After the declaration, specify the name of the structure variable my structure. Example dito. And example below. So ito. Ito yung syntax. So para makapag-create ka ng structure na parang array pero di pwede ka maglagay ng iba't ibang uh, iba't ibang data types so ito yung syntax daw struct tapos open braces and close braces dito tapos ito yung maglalagay ka na sa loob ng data type na type int tapos variable type string so yun pwede sa mula sa isang parang data mo to pwede uh, naka, may nakapaloob na iba't ibang data type structure declaration member member int variable member string variable then ito yung uh, structure variable so ito yung variable ng buong struct na to buong struct so hindi siya parang katulad ng normal assigning which is when type my name equals kung ano yung value ngayon ganito yung pag-assign niya ng sa variable so na may struct tapos yung variable niya dito okay <coughs> access structure members to access members of structure use the dot i the dot syntax dot dot example assign data to members of a structure and print it ito create a structure variable called my structure then ito na um, assign values to members to, of my structure uh, ganito mag access ng variable kasi kaila kumbaga parang kumbaga parang ano to eh uh, parang mga fields mga sa loob ng struct na to mayroong sa, lo sa loob nyan may mayroong kang data na may num mayroong kang data na may string so uh, yun nga parang syang array para iba iba ang data type tapos para ma-access mo yung value or ma-set mo yung value gagamit ka ng dot tool to para ma-access mo tong variable na to okay, gets naman no my string so ito yung ginawa niya may 1 tapos dito sa my structure gagamitin mo yung variable tapos dot tapos ito matatawag mo yung uh, yung variable din variable na variable fields siguro nga tawag natin dito so yan 
set siya sa 1 tapos sa my string set sa hello world then ipiprint mo siya ganda yung pag print call mo lang yung ah yung name nito variable tapos yun din so try natin so yun 1 hello world ito so stick siya ganda siya ah kung mag sa beginner ka yung ito mga gets na naman ito <laughs> Sa akin, okay, good. Nag-gets ka na uh, naman ito agad. So, yan. Pero, siyempre, pag, paano kung gusto nito mag-error? Ay, wala na. Nabagal na siya. O, oh, hindi na gano'y error. Sige lang. Pero, error dapat siya. So, ganito mag-assign. Ano, Ay, mag-set. Set value. Tapos, ito yung get value. Yeah. Okay. So, yun sa struct. One structure in multiple variables. Ah, ito. You can use comma to use one structure in many variables pwede, pwede, pwede pala multiple structure variables separate with comma hmm. so ito na yung initialization nya no ok so ganito mag initialize kang multiple my struct 1 my struct 2 this example shows use the structure in two different variables my car 1 my car 2 you can add a variables by separating them with a comma here. Ito yung struct niya. Tapos, um, if, um, ang mga fields niya, yung string brand, string model, int here. So, bawat, bawat, is, bawat isang variable or may ganitong fields. So, makikita niya dito. My car will be set na BMW model x5 year 1999. Tapos yung my car 2. Same din, kasi same fields for Mustang 1969. So, yun. Uh, Pag-display ng ano, ng brand model, tsaka year. Uh, dito lang, dito yung talagang bago. So, pag gusto nyo yung gamitin yung same, same fields uh, with different uh, yun, katulad to different car ito yun, my car my car 1, my car 2 okay name structure name structures by giving a name to the structure you can treat it as data type this means that you can create variables with this structure anywhere in the program at any time to create a name structure Put the name of, of the structure right after the struct keyword. Ito, ito, ito bago naman. Dito, di ba, short, ano na agad? Initialization, pagka initialize. Uh, kasabay ng initialization yung mga variable name. Dito, um, nag-create ka ng struct. Pero wala pang variable. Pwede pala yun. Tapos para ma-declare mo, uh, declare to declare a variable that uses the structure use the name of the structure of the data type of the variable so yun, my data type was my var pwede to oh, pwede yan pala so katulad nyan, ayan, ito ganito uh, ito, ito one use one structure to represent two cars struct car declare structure name car so dito may bago na ito hindi naging ano eh ito yung isa name structure ito yung bago naman hindi niya naging explain ng maayos dito dito sa struct pwede ka na maglagay ng uh, variable din o parang o var variable struct name ng struct so, yung declare a structure, uh, uh, may alias yung struct na to sa car. 
sa car na ito tawagin. Tapos ito yung Fields Brand Model. Kaya dito sa ano, car, my car. So yung parang ito yun. Ah, ito, ito. Ah, yun. Um, Nag-alias sa car. So, kaya pag uh, i- pag ito i-initialize mo yung struct na to, tawagan mo yung ano niya, yung yung name ng alias sa car. It's my car. Variable mo. Sina. Tapos car. Ma- my car to Sprint lang the same. So, yun. Pwede ba ito malaki? Parang kasi dapat sa mga high level, uh, mas maganda tingnan kung uh, capital itong ano yun. Parang class name ba? Kung ano, kung may background na kayo sa object oriented programming. Uh, ito yung class. Nagagawa ng class. Ito yung struct ng class. Kaya mag-print. Kailangan ng small letter. bag ba ito siya na? Sige na. Um, di niya malupin. Print. Try natin na. Ano. Ito na lang. Um, so makita kung pwede yung Mag-set ng ano. Ang ano. Gawa tayo ulit. Na ano. Car.cpp Kunin natin ito. Tapos palitan ko na yung car. Okay. Kung C. Try ko kung pwede siyang capital. Parang class class machine, then class blueprint, yan. Ah, uh, plus plus. Ah, ayun pa din naman pala. So yun. Ah. Uh, So, pwede. Mas okay siya. Pwede siyang gawing... Mas malaki, mas maganda. Pwede ako kapag pwede pa ganyan. Pero sa akin, mas okay siya sa akin ganit. Ito na gagawin. Pwede naman pa. Para siyang class. So, yan. Uh, 30 minutes. Uh, ano ba itong reference na ito? Kasi konti lang rin. So, sa si- reference... A reference variable is a reference to an existing variable it is created with the operator and operator get the dao string food equals pizza food variable A reference variable is a reference to an existing variable and it is created with an operator. String and mill reference down to food. Reference to food. Now we can use either the variable name food or the reference mill to refer the food variable. Okay. So. Oh, same lang. So, so ibig sabihin, hindi, um, ang bina, ang, ang ibig sabihin ng ganito, nakapoint pa rin dito sa food. So, 
Eh, kung baguhin kong ano, pwede ba ito? Ayaw mo mag-print. Kaloko. Kaya tayo ulit. Ah. Na ano. Alright. Let's see if you Ano to? Expression is not assignable. So, bawal. Bawal mag-assign. Hindi mo pwede i-assign yung reference. Hmm. Pero wala siya sinabi dito. Baka dun sa next. Memory address. In the example from the previous page, the end operator was used to create a reference variable, but it, it can also be used to get memory address of a variable, which is the location of where the variable is stored on the computer. So, pwede makita yung memory address. When a variable is created in C++, a memory address is assigned to the variable, and when we assign a value to the variable, it is stored in the memory address. To access it, use the end operator and the result will represent where the value is stored. Kung isi out cloud, isi out natin yan. So, may itin memory address. So, hindi natin may ano yan. Pero yan yung memory address dyan. Okay. The memory address is sexodecimal form. Note that you may not get the same result in your program. Same man. F84. And why is it useful to know the memory address? References and pointers which you will learn in the next chapter are important in C++ because they give you ability to manipulate the data in the computer's memory which can reduce the code and improve the imp performance. These two features are one of the things that make C++ stand out from programming languages like Python and Java. Ito mahaba itong pointers. Mm, creating pointers. Sige na, isunod na natin. Makitayin pa naman. You learned from previous chapter that we can get the memory address, okay? of a variable by using end operator string food pizza then c out food tap c out the address sige sige either yan na natin o yan yung value nya is pizza tapos yung memory address nya is ito 0x6dfed4 a pointer however is a variable that stores the memory address as its value a pointer variable points to a data type like int or string. A pointer variable of the same type and is created with a pointer variable points to a data type like int or string. So data type a point the same type and is created by a series operator, the address of the variable you're working with the assign to the pointer pointer ito string food pizza okay na get to a food variable of a type string ito na pointer string pointer pr address to food a pointer variable with the name ptr that stores the address of the food 
Ah, kaya pala hindi ko na edit kanina. Hindi hindi siya pwedeng direct, di ba? Ayun. Kasi hindi pala pwede. Kailangan ko ng pointer. Tama. Kailangan ko muna ng pointer para i-i-assign tong add para mga si pointer yung another variable para tas ma-assign yung address ngayon si output si output address output the memory address to put in the pointer okay string pointer put so same naman to kasi nga ito yung address niya ngayon gusto kong palitan paano siya mapalitan example explain Create a pointer variable with the name ptr that points to a string variable by using the asterisk sign ptr. Note that the type of the pointer has to match the type of the variable you're working with. Ah, dapat ano, kung string yung string yung type mo ng food, dapat yung pointer mo, string din, hindi pwedeng int. Okay. Use the end operator to store the memory address of the variable called food and assign to it to the pointer. Now, pointer holds the value of the food's memory address. And there are three ways to declare pointer variables, but first, the first way is preferred. And ito yung preferred. Ito pwede rin. Ito pwede rin. Pero mas okay nga ito. Or, minsan ito mas okay din. Pero mas preferred not. Eh, paano yung patitan? So, get yung gagawin ko. So, dahil mil, kagawa ko ng str pointer ptr uh, mil. Yan. Ngayon, dua gagana na yan. Turain ka na siya. Gagana siya. Okay. Ay, balik pa. Ayan, please. Ngayon, gusto kong palitan yung pointer, di ba? Hindi naman nilagay yung assign ah, uh, ptr. Paano kayo assign ganito? Pwede ko to. Test. Assigning Ay, hindi pwede Paano i-assign? Wala ko siya sinabi Ito pa, meron pa pala sunod Next <laughs> Ito, ito Get memory address and value In the example from the previous page We use the pointer variable to get memory address Of a variable used together with the End reference operator However, you can also use the pointer To get the value of the variable By using the pointer operator the different the def the, the reference operator okay string food normal initialization variable declaration string pointer po point natin yung address ng food okay pointer declaration so yan then reference output the memory address okay so dito ba dito sa kabila dito inulit niya muna Ah, wala naman. So, okay. Then, memory address, we print. Tapos dito, the reference output, the value. Ah. Hindi, baka dun sa susunod. So, ano, i-output mo yung value, ito yung ilalagay mo yung pointer para ma-output mo yung value. Pag point PTR lang, address lang. So, baka ganun ang kulang ko. So, dapat may pointer ako dito. Ayan. Yun. Hindi natin ko magiging test. Ah, di ba? <laughs> so, napalit, napalitan ko siya. So, 
ganito siyang magpalit ng value <coughs> yung pointer so pwede ka pala ito rekta na ito dito ketola na ito diretso food yan ayong meal okay yung meal kasi nawala na so dapat address na lang ah uh, ptr na lang to tapos dito yung pointer na ptr para ma-print yun tapos dito yung address So, yun. Ito yung test is address. <coughs> okay. Last. Note that the asterisk sign can be confusing here as it does two different things in our code. When we use in declaration string point, uh, asterisk point, PTR, it creates a pointer variable. When not used in declaration, it acts as the, the reference operator. Okay. Ito na. Um, modify the pointer value you can also change the pointers value but note that this is will also change the value of the origin value kaya nga yun yung nangyari kanina <coughs> uh, the string food <coughs> string food uh, string pointer set and pointer the address ng food okay so print yung actual value ng food then print yung memory address then print yung memory address pa rin pero by uh, ah hindi yung print yung value value to kasi na uh, pointer kasi may pointer access the memory address of food and out the pizza okay access the, the memory address and print the uh, value tapos I don't change hamburger. Get out on in a see out pointer in value and set what address. Oh, yeah, get out on in a so how you yeah. hamburger deba. So, can you share my set? Um, get to share my set. Ah, I'm going to change the point. I am value by a pointer by a pointer. Na naka reference address. I'm going to share pero. Okay na. Ewan lang pag sa mga complex na. So, medyo easy pa eh. So, ano sulit natin? Functions na? Sige lang. So, yun. Um, Gandito na lang yung tutorial na ito. At ngayong, ngayong araw ay napag-aral natin yung structures, reference, and pointers. Dito, madali lang siya at i-gawin. Pero, ewan lang pag sa <laughs> actual coding na talaga. Pero, gets ko naman yung pag- uh, difference ng pointer tapos yung pag reference sa address yung may, ito yung end, end. tapos yung asterisk okay naman siya so uh, bukas ito tayo sa functions yan ito tayo sa bukas sa functions at uh, yun hanggang dito na lang thanks bye